Um, I am Stephanie Woods Crawford, Bureau Director of Environmental Health and Preparedness for the Mobile County Health Department. And this is also Brad Phillips. And I'm the Director of Inspection Services. Um, we wanted to address you this morning about the issue of crawfish being cooked and outside on sidewalks downtown. Um, it is important to understand that the bars in question do not have the proper facilities to cook inside or outside of their establishments. Our office received a complaint about the bars cooking at crawfish and our inspectors did their duty by going up and following, um, following up on the complaint. The inspectors discovered that the bars did not have the proper facilities to cook the crawfish nor dispose of the wastewater from the boil. And there were cut potatoes and sausages um, within Walmart bags, shopping bags, which the bar, um, bar employees stated that they had cut the potatoes and the sausages and placed them in the bags at their home. It is extremely important to understand that Walmart grocery bags and all store plastic bags have different chemicals and pesticides within them that is not used for food grade foods or and it's not it's designed for to use it for food services or preparation of food as a public health official and employees of public health it is our duty and responsibility to protect the community even when the community doesn't want to be protected it is our duty to enforce the code as it is written by fda and the state the center for disease control estimates that each year there are roughly 76 million people that become ill or sick to foodborne related illnesses. 300,000 are hospitalized yearly and 5,000 individuals die each year. And that is just one too many. It is, it, if you have ever had or experienced a foodborne illness, then you understand the concerns and our duty to protect our community because Mobile has had its share of foodborne illnesses that has affected our tourism and the community as a whole. I have had the opportunity to sit down with the bar owners and managers to discuss the code and the regulations. Last year during a meeting with them, they were informed to submit a variance requesting and outlining their processes and procedures for cooking crawfish outside. That health and that health officials would, would work with them to review the variants and ensure that the proper food handling and processes would be used in order to follow them and we would take the to our board and help and a board of health in order for approval a year passed and on the day that one of the bar owners decided to cook crawfish again outside i received an email with a outline of his recipe which is not the processes or procedures of how that food would be handled. I informed him that the state had adopted the FDA's 2013 food code and that the state had removed our ability locally to grant variances by a local health officer or our board. We no longer are allowed to grant any specific variance as it refers to food and food related issues. However, we worked with them and tried to find some type of solution for them by suggesting that the bars pick a particular day or weekend and hold a special event like other food, non-food service organizations, such as our gumbo cook-off and Cajun cook-off that is held yearly, which would be held in a central location with the proper waste disposal and facilities. The inspectors and I would be more than willing to, willing to assist them in finding some type of solution for this and the proper location for them to hold it. If this option did not work for them, we also suggested that they obtain a cooked, obtain cooked crawfish and from a permitted establishment in order for them to give it away underneath their current permit. I personally wanted to know how did the establishment restaurants downtown feel about, the down, about them not abiding by the code and the rules and cooking on the sidewalks without the proper facilities. My team surveyed 56 restaurants and we received responses from 47 of those restaurants. Out of that, 75% of the restaurants owners and managers stated that no, they are not in favor of the bars being exempted from the FDA code or Alabama Department of Public Health's code and regulations. As citizens of this community, we are not against the traditions or the culture which is unique to Mobile. 
We want all businesses to be successful and to thrive. It is not our intent to close or shut down any of the establishments, but we do want to ensure that the health of this great community is protected as our mission states. Thank you for this opportunity to speak with you today and to address this issue that pertains not only to District 2, but also to all districts and our tourism. All right. Thank you very much for coming. Um